Africa remains one of the fastest growing air travel markets, but faces numerous challenges due to deficiencies that are of regulatory or oversight nature, such as the persistent systematic safety-related deficiency that tarnishes the image of state-owned airlines. This makes compliance with the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, standards and recommended practices difficult. Addressing participants at the five-day ministerial conference on aviation security and facilitation on Monday, Minister of Works and Transport, Alvis Narusep, said systematic safety-related deficiencies in the state's regulatory oversight capability invariably affects the state in many ways. Narusep mentioned that there are undoubtedly numerous untapped opportunities to enhance aviation security and facilitation requirements but the impact has been very minimal because of man-made barriers. We, that is now Namibia, have learned from our past experiences that air carriers with good products and excellent route networks are often the first to be affected or rendered ineffective when the state's safety or security oversight capability is questionable. African air carriers cannot compete fairly with mega air carriers when subjected to operational restrictions or bans. Airlines are too often outrightly blacklisted or allocated unattractive slots because they are flagships from a state considered incapable of carrying out its security oversight responsibilities effectively. Meanwhile, the recent attack on an airport in Brussels has shown that the threats against civil aviation are becoming more unpredictable and difficult to mitigate. The attack on the Belgian capital airport on the 22nd of March in the form of two bomb explosions resulted in a lockdown for about 12 days and is expected to reduce airport capacity for at least three months. This was said by Director of Air Transport in the International Civil Aviation Organization, Bubakar Jibu, during the official opening of a five-day ministerial conference on aviation security and facilitation in Africa. A tangible example of this cooperation is the Comprehensive Regional Implementation Plan for Aviation Security and Facilitation in Africa that we call the afi Secfal Plan, which was unanimously supported by state at the first AFI Aviation Security meeting <laughs> held in Dakar, Senegal in May 2014 and endorsed by the 24th Extraordinary Session of the AFCAC, also held in Dakar in July 2014. The objectives of the AFI SECFAL plan are to enhance security and facilitation by promoting the cooperation between the African states in these areas and by coordinating all related assistant efforts. In that context, the Regional Aviation Security and Facilitation Group, the RSFG, was established in coordination with AFCAC to provide technical support and advice to the afi Secfal Plan Steering Committee. Representatives from all 54 African Union Commission member states are in attendance.